not give money, he is fake. Do not give money, he is fake. He is a fake monk. He is not a real monk. Take that, you damn fake monk. I'm going to explain to you what happened in that video in a minute. Um, I'm also going to explain to you what this is all about in a minute too. But let me start by saying that if you're ever approached by a monk, no matter where you are in the world, a so-called Buddhist monk on the streets, he's fake. They are 100% fake. Buddhist monks don't go out and ask for money and try to sell things. Buddhist monks stay in the monasteries. Of course, you can see them in public, but they're very pious. They stick to themselves. And, you know, they believe very strongly in their religion. And part of their religion is not selling things to tourists. Anyway, what happened in the video earlier is quite a famous uh, woman who was at one point, I believe, a, a Hong Kong Kung Fu heroine in the 80s. And also she's married to a producer of Hong Kong films. She's a devout Buddhist. And she basically goes around and exposes these fake monks and uh, she was, I believe, on holiday in London. That's what this, where this video was taken. And she obviously saw one of these, you know, fake monks trying to sell a charm to a tourist. And so confronted him. And you saw what happened there. She actually made him take off his fake robes and kind of made, made him show her his passport and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to get into that because that's one of the things that annoys me the most. But basically, let me explain to you how it all goes down. You see, it's very cheap and very easy to get monk's clothing here in China. I just took a look online. I can buy a whole monk outfit for 118 RMB. And I guess that if I got the outfit, I bought a bunch of these sort of prayer, prayer bracelets, you know, prayer bead necklaces, and a whole bunch of lucky charms, you know, the spiritual charms and stuff, probably cost me 30, 40 US dollars for the whole lot. And then what they do is they travel to different countries on a tourist visa. Some of them end up staying illegal, you know, staying there illegally. Some of them just stay for the, the duration of their tourist visa and then come back and then go somewhere else. And what they do is they walk around in public, they put on, they dress up like a monk. They walk around with a smile on their face, pretend to look all spiritual and approach tourists and shove some kind of a charm in their hand or shove some kind of a bracelet like this or something and then expect you to give them money and they will pester you and follow you until you give them money. It's very disingenuous and it's a big insult to Buddhism because real Buddhists, you know, of course don't do this. And so it makes them look bad and they hate it. That's why this woman who is a devout Buddhist is going around trying to expose these people. Now, the problem I have with these guys is not only are they taking advantage of religion because, you know, us Westerners, we don't know better. We see this guy you know, he looks like a monk, he's got the prayer beads, he's got a smile on his face. And we probably think, oh, look, he, he looks very spiritual. You know, he looks really nice. Uh, I'm probably donating towards a, a monastery or something. And we give him money for like some cheap piece of crap because, okay, not this one. This one's actually quite a nice one. This my father-in-law gave this to me. It's made out of proper wood, you know, but you can buy cheap ones for like five, 10, 15 RMB, so about a US dollar. Um, they give that to you and then, you know, they take, $10 or whatever they try to pester you for. And what they're doing is they're actually conning people, right? And on top of that, they're working illegally, which really pisses me off because it's a huge double standard. If I were to uh, dress up like a priest, walk around China here, trying to sell like cheap relics, Christian relics, or, you know, things like uh, little crucifixes and stuff, I'd be deported. Not only would I be arrested or shooed away from the streets, I'd be deported. My visa would be cancelled because that is not correct to do on a tourist visa, which is what these guys are doing. Uh, I'm on a spousal visa, but I'd be in the same, you know, I'd be in the same boat. But I'd definitely get kicked out um, and at least harassed by the police in a big way. Oh, that's a noisy thing. Noisy meat. So. What I'm saying is it's not a good idea to, to support these guys because you're supporting basically a criminal gang, a criminal enterprise. And you see how easy it is to get involved in this, spend about 50 US dollars, get a plane ticket, and there you go. You know, just like all beggars and all things like that in China, they are a massive gang and they're just incredibly terrible, giving a bad name to Buddhism and conning people out of their money, using religion of all things to, to con people out of their money. And it's such a pity too because 
the thing I really like about Buddhism is the fact that they are not like a lot of religions. They are very, um, how can I say, They're very content with themselves and their religion. And they don't go out and try to convert people. They're not like Jehovah's Witnesses who will come and knock on your door. They're not like Hare Krishnas that will come and bother you in public. They stick to themselves. They're very content. And, you know, it's something I really respect about Buddhists. And these guys are giving them all a bad name. And just like everything else in China, if someone finds out there's a way to make money, it spreads like wildfire. And that's why you have so many of these fake monks now. I've got subscribers telling me that you can find them in, in Australia, in Seattle, in places like New York, all over Europe. So, you know, they're everywhere now. And they're all 100% fake. So guys, please, I hope what you can take from this video is that all of those monks are a scam. Please don't give them money. You're making Buddhists look bad and feel bad. And on top of that, you're basically funding a gang of criminal, illegal immigrants who are infiltrating your city, pretending to be holy men. Meanwhile, they're just some kind of scumbag from some far-flung area of China that's shaved their head, paid a couple of dollars to get themselves an outfit, and they're conning you and your family out of money. Anyway, on that lovely note, I'd love to send all of my support to this lady who's going out and exposing them. Good for you. And uh, to all the real Buddhists out there, the real monks and all of that, I know you're not watching this because you guys don't watch TV and stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, I appreciate you for who you are, and I'm not fooled by these fake monks anyway. So until next time, guys, you know the drill. Unlike fake monks, stay awesome.